hi hope you all are doing good so so far we have seen how to get username password so that is a very basic le level of security right so now we are talking about two-factor authentication so in two-factor authentication we are going to have three kinds of labs first that is we are going to do today in which we are going to understand the simple bypass as you can see on screen so here uh, like in general we know what is two-factor authentication first is the basic authorization i mean basic authentication like based on our username and password and then one more uh, layer of security will be there it might be an otp or it might be any secret question or anything that a developer has designed or something okay so today we are going what we are going to do is uh, we'll see some of the flaw in the basic two-factor authentication so today's thing is not present in real time but based on the knowledge that we are going to get today we are going to overcome the flaw that we are going to find in the coming laps of two-factor authentication i hope that makes sense and with without any delay let me start and just for your information the one that i am telling you can already find in the solution section so there is nothing that you have to watch this video if you are not able to get then come and watch this video otherwise you can find everything in the solution along with the explanation okay so yeah let's get started since we have we know the methods of getting the credentials and all so we are given our credentials which we'll have and this is the second credentials which we will get based on whatever we have learned previously so let's get on to the lab open link and new tab because this lab is not about getting those credentials which we have already learned this lab is only about the second layer of the security okay so let me so we are not going to use any kind of verb suit as of this lab first let me log in and the username and password given to me is Viner and then Peter login down save okay so here uh, in general we will get an OTP or something to our mail but because this is a virtual lab we are given an email client so we will go there and we will see that we are given a security code so i'll simply copy this and i'll paste this login simply that's it okay and our final thing is we should be able to reach this place called my account so i'll simply copy this and make a note of it in my notepad so i i made a note of it in my notepad but what is it that we are learning here that you'll get in a moment okay so now i'm logging out and now i'm going to log in in the victims account so login and this is carlos and his password is montoya so let me login and here we go okay so now i i need to go to my account which is what i am expecting that i want to reach there but because of this uh, second layer i am not going there but the flaw that i see here is as soon as we are done with the first level of security that is our basic uh, username and password we are already logged in as per the cookie or as per the session of uh, this logic of auth authorization in this web page okay so here uh, i can basically say that if i know what is the landing page that i want to go like in case of this lab it is my account page i can simply go there because as per session it is like as per session or as per cookie it is already in logged in state so it is not going to stop us so if we have the URL already, because if I enter this and if I go to login, it is going to take me to my account and the URL if I already have, I'll go directly. So there is this flow that it is simply searching what is the state of a cookie or session. If it is logged in, fine. It is showing the my account page or the home page. So th that flow is present here. So it should not be in that manner. It should validate or it should again verify whether the second layer of authentication is done by the same user who has done the first step okay so if, if we generally do that okay second step should be done and it should be verified so the verification is correct but is it like the person who did the first step is the same person who is doing the second step so this part of the logic is very crucial so here instead of entering some kind of digit security code i am going to go to my notepad and if you can see the user the victim user is careless here so to log in into his my account i am simply going to like the url that i am pasting is the my account page of viner so i am going to remove the id as viner and i am going to simply log in as careless 
so now you can see it is solved so basically what happened here is the verification that the person who did the first step is the same person who is doing the second step is not done and uh, what i assume from this is that the verification that is there at the end on the my account page or any of my profile page it is just seeing the session and if it is in logged in state so as soon as i am done with the first step my cookie my session should not say that i am logged in it should have something other like okay in yellow color like something that is say that should say that first step is done second step is yet pending so that kind of flaw was there in the two factor authentication this was a simple bypass but in the next lab we are going to see that even for the second layer of uh, this uh, uh, login we are going to have some kind of um, verification which we are going to overcome so i hope two factor authentication simple bypass is literally clear because there was nothing much complex but this is something that we are going to make use of in the next lab i mean in terms of knowledge okay so yeah that's it for today and if you like my explanation please do click on subscribe button click on notification bell and share with people who think this could be useful for them and yeah if you find anything interesting in this which uh, we are not aware of or even or else if you suggest any other method we will definitely try to give it a shot because i have already told that i am not an expert i am learning and so in the way of learning i am telling you what whatever i am uh, coming across it might be labs it might be material or it might be courses or anything else so if you have any suggestion please do mention in the comment section that's it for today stay home stay safe thank you bye bye